Hey guys, welcome back, Curl Fry here, and today we're going to be checking out Trader Life Simulator. They just had a new update come out, and it looks very interesting, so let's go ahead and jump on in and see what it's about. New update is right here. So we actually now have a new location where we can set up our shop and see what we can do. So let's jump in and continue to the village. So as you know, Trader Life Simulator is a game where you basically set up your own home, store, and life. So let's see what we got here. So we start out with our basics. So let's go ahead and throw this down somewhere. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No real location for that. So let's see. So. I like this. This looks amazing. Sun out and everything. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop this off here. Let's just make this first room our bathroom. Throw this against the wall right here. Like so. Bam! And then let's turn this one into our bedroom. Tiny bedroom. Granted, I do understand you are in a tiny village. Eh, good enough. Alright, so let's check it out, see what's going on. This is the first time I've been here. It looks amazing, though. I like I like your little cottage you have right here in the mi mi middle of the mountains, the woods. It looks good. Alright, so let's check our map. So, here we are, and if we go down this way, we will go go to the little trader center over here is all the trading shops it looks like some mechanical stuff over there the vegetable farm fishing food butcher all that so let's go ahead and get in this uh, I skip all tutorials I already know about it all right so let's go this way see what's going on Ooh, whoa, ow, oh no, oh no, <laughs> what is going on, and, all right, let's try that again, all right guys, I'm back, and let's see, if I can take this road again without flipping into a tree, then rolling around on the road, and God knows what else happened, and then falling through the wireframe. So let's take it nice and slow. Wow. Whoa. The road is not friendly. All right. Let's stop right here and see where we are at. Does it tell me? I think I'm right here. So if I go straight, I'll hit the gas station. So let's head straight. One hundred kilometers an hour. Okay. So there's the gas or I guess the gas station. Oh, goodness. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Let's see if I can get out of this predicament I'm in. Oh, no, no, no. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Close that. Let's reset that. And try that again, maybe? Man, you tap a tree, you go flying. Don't touch the rock. Don't touch the rock. 
Alright, here we go. <laughs> Round three. Okay. So, we got our store straight ahead. Okay. And we got our employee there. Looks like it's our typical startup stuff. So let's actually just drive around right now. See what's going on. Tools over there where we can buy a dolly. Who needs roads when you got this beast of a vehicle? Probably me. I probably need the roads. Alright, so... Over here is the trader section, I would say. Yeah, we got the exporting, the trader company, and the bank all in one location. That's nice. We got furniture right here. Jabba's shop. Electronics. And that is all that's there. I wonder what that sign is. ATM, okay. So we don't need to head back to the house just yet. Also, please no comments about my exceptional driving skills. I'm just... My goodness, this is like sketchy driving a little bit. Alright, so... Stop here. We are right here, so if I go this way, I can see the farm, the farmer's market, I would call it, or actually the vegetable shop, the fish market, which is not on the map right here. Oh, there it is, fish trader, and then the butcher. So let's head to our left and see what's up this mountain. Yes, yes, you... My goodness. Can't climb up a hill with this. Alright, so here we go. We got the mechanic, we got that. We got the pharmacy. I don't remember the pharmacy. Let's see what they got. Treat yourself. Eh. I don't need to be treated. I am in exceptional health here after I wrecked like eight times. Alright. Ah, I like that. I like the fields they made right there. Alright, so where am I? So I just drove past that. So if we go to the left, I think, this way. We got a weird situation over there. Can I drive over to that? Yep. See what you selling. No, it's fine. Don't worry, guys. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, this is the fish market. So I am right there. That's a nice. That's very nice. Oof. These are expensive. Looks like I'm not going to be visiting the fish market much right now. Let's check the vehicle out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's getting a little bit of use today, boys and girls. Getting a little bit of use. All right, so if I drive straight. Okay, apparently into the water. No splash, okay. And we are at the butcher shop. Can I kick a chicken? Nope, nope. 
can't pull a link. Okay. So we got expensive meat here. Chicken's okay. Sausage is okay. Hey, buddy. I see ya. Okay. Alright, so we got these markets here. Wait a second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Game did not like me hitting the ch animals. Alright. So far, I'm actually quite enjoying the environment of this game. Besides the incredibly steep hill you start out on. Ooh, and the off-roading you have to go through just to get to certain markets. I mean, it's not bad. I like the increased difficulty. Makes it more realistic, in my opinion, to go to certain locations out, especially in this type of environment where you're out in the village, in the mountain, very secluded, so I like that. All right, let's see if I can make it back to our store. All right, which way is it? So I am, if I go straight, I should be at the market. Let's reset that and try it again. Am I on top of a tree? Why, yes, yes, I am. Let's close that and reset it. Reset it. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh, my goodness. If you tap a tree, oh my goodness, it's bad. Come on now. I see the road. I see the, oh no. Come on, you can do it. You can roll. Alright. Reset that one more time. Well then, um, buy car. Well, looks like we're hoofing it now. I mean, it's not terribly far from here. So lesson learned guys, we are not to drive down the hillside. Please stick with the roads, follow all safety laws, and hopefully you can make it to and from where you go. Okay. Well, isn't that a fancy car? Can I jump in? No. Alright. Okay, so pretty much it's very similar to how the it's very similar to how the old building is, but more open as you can see. I do like that. Can I jump back here? Yes. Alright. I do like that. So 
let's go ahead and come in here real quick. Let's throw down our laptop. Place you right here. And interact. Okay. So, still some things that are similar. You can buy your second floor. You can hire your second cashier. The farm is not available on this map, so that that that's a little hit right there. Um, access to your bills right there. Save your game. Change your supermarket name. Crow fried gin store. All right, we'll just save that as that. I like my red. Gotta keep my red. Alright. So, let's go ahead and take these outside real quick. And do our use. I do want to get on top of the building, see what it's like up there. And sadly, I no longer have a vehicle, I guess. I have to buy a tow truck or something like that run it and to find it and bring it back maybe I don't know we'll find out but let's get on up here crouch down pick you up place you here Sign looks nice. I would laugh if I come up here and I see my car flipping through the air. Auto save. Well, we are almost to the roof. But overall, I I do love how these houses look. Okay, okay, oops, bang. And here we are, second floor of your building. Uh, this is where your staircases will eventually be. whole second floor that will be put in all right with your own very water tanks over here and am I stuck in here now why yes yes I am stuck in here okay there we go so Take a look around. I do like Jabber's delivery is still there. Wee. Okay. So the general store is pretty much the same as I said earlier. Um, there is some changes implemented, as we saw earlier. Can I jump in you? No. All right. So let's go ahead, head over here. I might be able to afford it. I might not be, we'll see. Actually, I know for a fact I cannot afford it because I believe the tow truck rental service is 800. But let's go ahead and get our phone. Hey buddy, give me a phone. Give me a phone. Yeah. You behind the glass. Thank you. Tow truck is 500. Okay. 
Nope, cannot afford it. But let's go ahead and, if I'm not mistaken, on the side of, with our store, if I run up this hill, I can see no hopes of running up it. Glorious. Maybe over there. Weird animal noises in the background. Not quite sure what that is, to be honest. Hoofing it across country. And hopefully we can make it to see if they've added any more vehicles or not. Because I, 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 I kind of need a new vehicle, though I can't afford one right now. Okay. Getting closer. Pretty flowers. But yeah, the environment looks amazing. Especially when you're traveling at 8 p.m. at night. Here we go, vehicle trader. Actually, could I? Car shop. Thank you. All right, so we got several vehicles here. We got the scooter, the pickup, the big truck, and a good old Ferrari sports car? You don't own this vehicle? Why, yes, I know I don't own this vehicle. Wow. Can I, I, can I enter? Thank you. All right, so the sports car, 4,500. Scooters, 500. Truck, and then the pickup. All right. Okay. So obviously, I don't own any vehicles. Heck, I don't even own my current vehicle wherever it went. It, it decided to just go get raptured or something like that. All right. So, overall, it is very beautiful landscape, very beautiful looking little village you can play in. I do want to take it for a spin and enjoy. Play a little bit more carefully as you can see because your vehicle can go warp speed into space. God knows where it went. So, of course, you gotta be a little bit more careful on these roads. These roads, whoa. And it is dark. Oh my goodness, it is dark. Even your light is dark. Alright. But as I was saying, I do like the environment. I do like the game. Is that... Like... Alright, so... That night moon... I'm assuming it's the moon... Okay, let's not make eye contact with that. Okay. I do like this map. It is an experimental. It's new. Just came out. They want us to uh, take a look at it. I love it. The environment's beautiful. The store location looks amazing for a little village. It is really dark. But then again, you are out in country land. 
but so things I do see need a little bit of adjustment on is uh, this thing right here actually hold on one second let's turn it to ultra and see what happens whole lot of nothing okay anyways turn that down a little bit overall I do like the map I like the, that they're adding more towards it and I hope they do not stop the development of this it, it's amazing so on that note I'll just creep on this guy right here like this and finish the video here um, I, I do hope you all enjoyed this little quick glimpse at the village and Hope y'all can jump in and take a look at Trader Life Simulator. I enjoy this game. So if you get a chance, check it out on Steam. And don't forget to do the usual, guys. Hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.